Today, on this video, I'm going to show you what I've done to update, organize our bathroom here in our camper. Keep watching. I'm Bill. I'm Kelly. And this is our This adventure. is our adventures. Oh. Here we go. So the first thing that I'm going to talk about is how I've organized my bathroom that works for us. I know everybody talks about this, how deep these cabinets are and how you can't get to the back and you're just like fumbling through them trying to get everything out. I found what I feel is the perfect solution to this. I found some baskets on Amazon and I also have them under my cabinet in the kitchen and you can push them all the way to the back and then if you want you can put like a basket in front. So what I've done is I put like a basket and these are from the Dollar Tree in here in front of them but once I take this out it has drawers that pull out so anything that's back there in the drawer i can pull to me and then i just put it back and get it out of the way i'll put my stuff back up so what i've been putting in my baskets is extra things that i don't get every day but that i do need access to but i don't want to have to dig in also i've added a light you can get these lights at the dollar tree i got these off of amazon and i can't remember how much i paid for them but i will link them in the description box below because my dollar tree didn't have them and i couldn't find them so i and i wanted to go ahead and get them but the light helps you be able to see to the back and then on top of that it just it helps and it's led and it's battery operated, so you don't have to do any wiring or anything. But I have in this one, I put a two basket that I found. And then in this lower one, I have a one basket. And then I have all my toilet paper up above it. And then I just have my towels and my stuff in front of it. But in this one, I just have the one basket, which I have just the stuff that we put in our toilet when we go to a campsite back there. And I can just grab that. But if I needed to put anything else in there, I could take these two baskets out in front and then pull out that drawer to bring the stuff to me so I don't have to reach in. And then of course I have the light in this one as well. Now on my bottom one, we could have done the exact same thing, but I have opted to put my toilet paper in this one. So the drawer thing wouldn't have worked real well, but you could do that as well on the bottom one and that would give you you could actually do it on all of them and then you could have those pull out shelves and I will link them in the description box below because I got like the two basket one and the one basket one. The one basket one I already had because we had to put in a new sink in our house. I couldn't use it anymore so I brought it out here to see if it would work. Now let me tell you one quick thing about these. If you measure them they fit in the cabinet but the cabinet has this lip. So you cannot put them together outside the cabinet. You have to put them together inside the cabinet. Now I have to say that the two basket one, I like how it's put together better than the one because the one you have to slide it all on and then lock it in place. And it was a little bit harder to do. The other one was just, you had to screw them in. I had, did have to take the head off of the screwdriver and just use my fingers to tighten them up, but it's not like you're having to tighten them up really hard. But I absolutely love these baskets in here. They are a game changer for you to be able to get anything in the back side of this cabinet and you can just bring it to yourself. And like I said, they fit, but you would have to take, if you put them together outside this cabinet, you would have to take this off to get them in and it just won't work. So you do have to put them together inside. And then up here, I just keep all my towels. I have like my non-pretty towels in the back side, and then I have my pretty towels rolled up here in the front. Now, inside my shower, I added 
these off of Amazon and I have tried this is my third set of baskets oh I'm echoing funny this is my third set of baskets that I have hung up in here I had gotten some at TJ Maxx that I paid like nine dollars for them and they kept falling off and they finally broke then I bought some other ones off of Amazon and it had like this glue sticky thing that went on the actual thing it was like glue sticky and then you snapped them in that but the snaps kept breaking on them I guess going down the road and it was popping them so I had to get that off and then I ended up going with these and I have to say out of all of them these were a little more pricey but they have worked the best they haven't just fell off driving down the road or anything yet and the other ones they fell off almost every time we drove down the road now they are a little tricky they don't explain this when you get these and i'll link all this in the description box below you want to press put this up against here and then you're going to press the piece that you turn as you turn it press it in and it makes a better seal it doesn't say that in the instructions there's really not any instructions and it didn't tell you to press it in but i had read some reviews that people said they kept falling off and they couldn't figure out why and then they finally figured out that if you pressed in and turned they would hold and that they had worked great after that so that is something to know that you do have to press and turn now under my sink as far as the organization goes i had bought these at the dollar general I, they came three and I think you can get them in like a hard one too but three of them fit up under here they hold my blow dryer my brushes and then they hold my anything else that I need in those and they just fit right up under there and they're collapsible and they're movable which I like and then up under here I got this at the Dollar General as well it's a big tote and I just keep all our extra shampoo and everything in it and then when we travel, I take all my shampoo. And if you want to watch that video where I talk about where I store stuff when I travel, link is up here. That was last week's video. But I take all my shampoo and stuff out of the shower and I store it in here while we travel. And this just, it fits perfect. I mean, like the size you could not beat. And then all my other drawers, I just have Dollar Tree little tote, little things in them and uh, and everything and then up here these are bins from the dollar tree and then i just keep my stuff in those up there as well and then i keep some of my meds but i think i'm fixing to move because i have so much more room over here now since i've reorganized this i think i'm going to move all this meds into that cabinet and then i'm going to have a whole cabinet up there with nothing in it i've got this towel that i put up here a couple of years ago out, out of all the ones that I ordered and seen, this to me looks the most real. I mean, like, I literally, people come in and tap it and want to know if it's real tall. It does look like it. It's like a sea glass. Again, I will link it in the description box. And it's actually been up here for two years. And it has not even begun to come off or peel or come loose or anything. I do, I want to paint this black now but I'm gonna take this off and spray paint it black so that it kind of matches all my other black accents in here. Now, I'm gonna talk about the decor in this bathroom, but everything was hinged off of this photo. I saw it at Hobby Lobby, put that over there. I saw it at Hobby Lobby and fell in love with this picture. And I'm like, I want that to be my bathroom. So that being said, I ended up ordering this wallpaper well let me rephrase that back i had already put up this shower curtain and i did that just to add to brighten up the space a little bit and change the way it looks and if i wanted to hide the shower i could so i had already added that and had added the towel but then when i found this picture i thought oh gosh i love that picture well then I wanted to put some wallpaper behind the toilet and I looked and I had ordered some it was like a black and white look and I thought it was really cute so I had ordered it but then after I found this picture wallpaper and I ordered it and I think that it ties in 
everything with the camper. It could not because it has grays and browns. So you have all the browns from the cabinets, but then I've added a lot of grays and this wallpaper really ties those two things together. It pulls the gray and the brown and it makes it all come together. I love this picture and I found this picture and I did it. I kind of decorated around the picture because I love it. I did go, I took the towel bar down here and I went to Hobby Lobby and was trying to find like another cute towel bar. And then after I got there and started thinking, you can really only hang one or two towels on a towel bar. And I'll, in a small space like this, you really would love more hanging space. So that's what made me decide to put the hooks I can hang four towels across here if I want to. And then I already had these hooks were already here from before. So, I mean, like I can hang six things up in here. If I needed something to dry, I could do that. So what I ended up doing, I found this little shelf because it has like a little lip. And then I thought I would want to put Muse and Putty on this. And I still need to find me some more things for my shelf because it's small and I don't know what I want, but I need to find some plastic things. I want some more little jars to go up there, but I want them to be plastic because we're, we're in a camper, okay? We don't want glass. Glass is not your friend when you're in a camper. But yes, I uh, found the shelf and then I had this board left over from a project that I was doing. So I just screwed these two together and then I screwed this to the wall. I did not command strip this. Now, let me tell you about this picture. Because I'm on this wall with this wallpaper, I could have command stripped that to it. But my, my dilemma is, is it going to peel that wallpaper off of the wall? I was afraid that it would, and I had not tried any putting any pictures on a, a wall with wallpaper. And maybe somebody can comment below if you have, if it works with command strips. I just don't think that it would. I was afraid it was gonna peel this off. So what I ended up doing is I put up a screw up at the top because this picture frame hanger, it was one of the little, the little, it was one of the little teethy ones. <laughs> teethy ones is, I don't know if that's a, that may not be a thing, but anyway, it's a little teethy one. <laughs> so what I did is I screwed a screw in and pushed it down on it and got it really tight. So that way the screw is on it. But I did take command strips and put two of them on there. So I slid it down and then pushed it onto the wall. That screw is already keeping it really tight. And then the command strips are keeping it from pulling out at the bottom. The wallpaper is not taking the full weight of the picture. And like I said, I was afraid if I had done that and stuck it on there, it would have just peeled right off. I added these handles. I just took the other ones off. I ordered these off of Amazon. They weren't very expensive at all. And I even still got some extra ones, but they were really easy to change out. Insert here is flat and all the other ones are paneled. And I don't know why this one's flat, but I didn't like that it was flat. And I had some extra wallpaper. So I just put it in this insert and I think that it brightened that space up. And if I don't like it, I can end up just peeling it off. Another thing, and I consider this somewhat of a decor thing, I found these cool bottles on Amazon that they're pretty, but then they hold my stuff. And I really like how they've turned out. And then I got Bill, just a plain one. And I wanna get a little, I wish I had a Cricut maker. Hey Cricut, if you're watching, I want a Cricut maker. <laughs> oh, but a label maker. I need a label maker like that, but I want to get a pretty thing that just says shampoo on it and put that on there just to kind of finish that up. Now, the last thing that we're going to talk about here is upgrades that we have done to the bathroom. And there's really only two things that we've done to the bathroom as far as upgrades. One, the faucet. We changed out the faucet and made it the higher ones because the other one you couldn't get your hands up under. And two is the toilet seat. We upgraded the toilet seat. It's a soft close and it doesn't have all those places that you can't clean in the top of the toilet seat. It was nasty and it was getting nasty. So that's really the only two upgrades that we have made to our bathroom.
So a few things that I need left to do is I do need to find me some more little knickknacks or something to put up here. And also on my decor, on my decor part, I found this cute little, I don't know what you would call it. I think it was for actually for a desk, but I thought it was really cute. I wish I could get, I'd like to find like a clear plastic cup that would fit in here. And I want to find a soap dispenser that would fit in there. I just thought it was cute and it matched my decor. So I'm, that's a few things that I have left to do in here. But other than that, it has turned out great. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this video on how I've organized and decorated my bathroom here. I, I, I like, I'm in love with this. I just think it's so pretty. I love our bathroom. And you know, I know our camper's three years old and I'm just starting to do more stuff to it. Not that I didn't want to when we first started, but I wanted to make sure that whatever I did to it, I would enjoy or like, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I'm loving our camper, how it is all turning out. I'm starting to really redo stuff. If you haven't watched it already, I did the whole master bedroom and we turned it from a queen size to a king size bed. And that's a whole little series that you can watch. And so that has been done and now the bathroom is done. And our den is already pretty much finished. I can't think of anything out there really that I want to do. Who knows, might come up with something. I hope you've enjoyed what all I've been doing. We're waiting on Maddie's arrival and we can't travel right now because we don't want to go off and then, hey, Maddie decides to come. And Maddie's our granddaughter. If you don't know who that is, there's a video about it. So we are not able to travel. So I've just been really watching the Facebook groups and watching things that people are asking about because I've done the video about completely remodeling without destruction or painting your camper. I've done a video on that as well. And then I have a couple other videos coming up. It's going to be decorating your camper on a budget where I'm going to make, make some Dollar Tree decor for your camper. And then I'm going to do our, also our map wall. I want to do all the photos and stuff in that section. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to make stuff for that as well. So that's going to be a video. Another video is I'm going to give you my tips and tricks on how to stock and get your camper started without spending a ton of money. Welcome to all our new subscribers. I have been overwhelmed with how many subscribers we have gotten lately. I am so thankful. And in June, after Maddie comes, we're going to start traveling a little bit. We're going to Destin with Jason and Rebecca. We're not going in our camper because they're coming with us and we have a timeshare that we have to to use up the time so we're gonna do that but we've got some great things planned for that trip we're just gonna keep on bringing you some content about what i've been doing and remodeling and since the camper's been sitting here for a little bit trying to get it all our own till next time like and subscribe